Kevin the Black Queen here, another episode of Queen Reacts, and I had to take a short break between those the last video and now because my computer has been having a lot of problems. Um, I'm guessing it's because uh, fucking there's a new version of this MacBook out, so they want me to trade in the old one for the new one, but I'm not going to be doing that yet. Um, but yeah, this is going to be episode 19, and I don't remember what episode this is. Oh, this is, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, sorry, I just got a notification. This is episode, uh, over a barrel, I think, right? Um, I'm looking at the thumbnail from uh, a separate upload of this, which brings me to this. Uh, I have to stream from YouTube. Um, well, I have to screen record from YouTube because for some reason, uh, I can't download these videos uh, from uh, Sunny Equus, which is actually, uh, I think, Ashram Spark, the now retired uh, archive channel on YouTube. Um, for some reason, I can't download this, and I've had problems with the uh, Mente Event series on here before. So, yeah. Uh, this is, of course, by uh, Fin Fan Philosophy, also known as Dawn Somewhere. And, uh, yeah. Not too familiar with what we're going to be getting into. Um, I actually haven't even uh, watched the last episode of Mentally Advanced Series in a while. I probably should have done that before I did this. Um, but yeah, we're going to get right into it. Let me pull up OBS so I can screen record. Uh, this way, in case I have to pause for whatever reason, though, I'm going to try not to because I don't like, I don't really like pausing. But we're going to get right into this. This is Mentally Advanced Series episode 19. Uh, screen recording already. Three, two, one. The following is a transformative parody. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Don somewhere LC. Don't know what that means. AJ, explain to me again why I'm not at my boutique and am instead escorting an apple tree all the way out to the desert. Will, Miss Rarity, I reckon that it's a really to important plant journey. It. Important right? to whom exactly? To me. It's important to me. And y'all are my friends, so thank you very much. AJ, I hate you. Openly yeah. and truly, <laughs> I do not keep it a secret. Oh well, oh well. Because y'all are going to help me lift this here tree and take it to wherever it needs to go as soon as we get wherever it is that we're going. And you are every bit as stupid as this trip if you think I'm going to help you lift a tree. Would you just stop your belly aching? I paid for your tickets. I feel like this is a pretty fair deal. I never said that you wouldn't help me lift an apple tree. And I don't suppose that you're familiar with opportunity cost because you are a mud pony high school dropout. If I skip a week of work, it will still cost me a thousand bits. Oh well then why'd y'all come along, Miss Theoretical High Fashion working all the time even though I know you don't have a job right now. Oh, I do not expect you to know how I work. And the fact that although I'm not working all the time, when I do work, I'm working very hard. And besides, everyone else was going and I didn't want to be excluded. And I thought we were going to go and see your rich family in Manhattan. My family in Manhattan are orange farmers. This is an apple tree. Now, I could understand if you couldn't tell the difference between <laughs> one apple tree and another, but if you can't tell the difference between an apple and an orange, well, so much for your highfalutin education. Is that so? Well, you know what? I was talking to the bachelor herd, and do you know what they said? They all agreed that those little freckles of yours, those white spots, they look like a fungal infection. Oh, I I'm sorry, can y'all speak up? The only thing I can hear is the honk of the town bicycle. Joke's on you. I don't have a horn. I have a bell, and I'm about to ring yours. Hey. Guys, there's something going on up here. Oh. Man, look at all those fat, horny guys. <laughs> I don't want to kill myself. They're bison, Dash. Hey, guys, you, you are filthy. They're a little too close to the train. Oh, I'll go and tell them. Hey. Nice. And thus ends the terrible <laughs> reign of Rainbow Dash. Yes. Hey, they're stealing my tree. Wasn't Spike sleeping under the bed in that car? Hey, what in the hell is going on? Oh yeah, there he is. Spack, save the tree. Breathe fire on him. I hold all of you responsible. Forget Spike. Worry about the tree. The worry about Bloomberg. Responsible, and that's the last we saw of him. Those bison ran off with our tree and took Twilight's pet Spock with them. Are you the cousin that AJ slept with? Spike is really wow. more of a slave than a pet. I mean, he's bitten kids before, so heads up. Are the eyes so, uh, darkening? You or gossip with your I'm... friends, huh? I don't exactly say nothing. I just rarity's kind of extrapolating from some stuff. I don't know, AJ. If I were you, I might extrapolate with him. We ain't gonna wow. get married now, are we? No, no, no. Extrapolating just means there's a lot of insubstantial rumors and no reason for anyone to be worried. Oh, thanks, rumors. Celestia. 
Yeah, praise be, though I don't know if we should be thanking Celestia. I assume that's yet. a female voice it's in actress. Our hooves, you know, if the family has its way. Yeah, 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 sure. Because all the limited, males are females and all hey, the females are males. Family, except for the except for Big Mac. He's fine. He said hello. Granny's still kicking. Apple Bloom hasn't got her cutie mark yet, but it'll come in time. She seems to take a shine to fixing stuff. Well, that's good, that's good. So your brother, though, is he still... Does d does he still practice? Like, I mean, does he still like to practice in the bachelor herd during the off-seasons? Why, Brayburn, wow. I don't know. I don't keep up Brayburn's with that gay. sort of thing. Does he ever say it helps out a lot? It don't, I imagine. Okay. So about Spike, the tree, and the buffalo. Right, right. Well... It's a right big deal because, as you know, well, we've all busted our humps trying to get this apple orchard starting in the desert. Oh, I know something you can bust. Just ignore her, please. We're moving on. Anyway, Where are these commentaries the earth is the best hurt, on this. Crack, lacks nutrients. There's virtually zero rainfall. The soil pH is all wrong, and on top of that, we haven't done a great job pruning the fruit to prevent the tree limbs from breaking. You Those know, maybe you should live with the fruit. This harvest. We've established ourselves here, and then they showed up demanding the right to stampede across this land. And for what? I don't know. We didn't ask. But just look! The town is approximately no more than 50 feet across! Why don't they just go around us? Man, I'm lost in the desert. Yeah. And now I'm gonna get attacked by giant scorpions. There is much worse things awaiting Rainbow Dash than scorpions. Yes. Pinky, what are you doing in the desert? Wait, are you a mirage? Pinkie Pie is a menagerie of justice and suffering. Yes, her piercing gaze saw through the fakery of your death. Who are you evading, Rainbow Dash? Your methods are amateur. Yes, you gotta be quiet. I'm evading giant scorpions. Also, help me keep an eye out for those big, fat, horny guys. <laughs> oh, now, what the crap is this? You fly away, Pinky. I'll stay and fight. Now, there's no need for that. Skittles and Crazy are with me. So it Skittles turns out they crazy. stole AJ's tree because they really hate the apple orchard that her family is putting together. Also, they hate ponies, but they're okay with dragons. How'd they know we had the tree? I didn't ask. I guess they guessed. Well, then how would they know that the tree was specifically in the caboose? Does it really matter? It so totally does matter. What yeah. if the tree was in, like, one of the front cars instead of the caboose? Well, I'd derail the whole train and kill everyone, but that's me. I can't speak for them. How come AJ is building an orchard in the desert? It's so weird hearing Rainbow actually Lisa. speak besides, some common sense for once. Because it never makes sense. It's all very suspicious. I can tell you why they are building an orchard to make money by impeding or stampeding fat. Who's this fat okay. guy? <laughs> this is Strongheart Dash. She's not fat. And she's a not guy. a guy. She's a bison. Well, I don't know how to tell their gender. Same way you tell a mare from a stallion. I am not here to look at buffalo, but you're not here for any reason. Exactly. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, the point I was trying to make is that we have tried to negotiate with the ponies, but we have made no progress. Okay, now when you said negotiate, you mean like you cried in the store? Because my mom says that when you make one-sided demands, that is not negotiating. That is very disrespectful. It is our land. We are not going to offer anything to use our own land. Look, she's really slow. So let's have Cheat Thunderhooves lay it out and then decide on a death sentence or something. The annual stampede is a lengthy ritual symbolic of the endless cycle of death and rebirth. Each year it is done, and every year we perform a choreographed song and dance number about the travels. But this year, there will be no song or dance routine. How can we choreograph when we have to travel 50 feet to the left or to the right just to get around this town? When I am reincarnated, I do not want to be told that we could not do this because I was too lazy in a previous life. I know how it is to be struck by fear with laziness. I will assist you. Okay, so here's our plan for saving Rainbow Dash from those buffalo. We wander off into the desert, and then it works itself out. We save time by finding you and the buffaloes. Yes. Does anyone else just feel clumsy and all over the place today? Yeah. And look, I brought a buffalo. I brought it here to negotiate with you guys. Okay, so here's the deal. You guys are building on their land, so all you gotta do is clear some of the trees so they can run through there, and that's it. That's my plan. Well, clearing a path would cost us a quarter million bits at least. Okay, I'll go tell them. So they said the land is worth like a quarter billion bits, Chief Fat Guy. Are you being serious right now? Our land is worth a quarter billion bits? Well then tell them they can have it for a quarter billion bits. Right. So they said you could have the land for a quarter billion bits. Oh well, no way, that's insane. It'd take us generations to earn back that money. 
Yeah, but you're gonna be here for generations. That's how come the land is worth so much. No, no, no. A billion bits right now is worth way more than a billion bits several generations down the line. Don't y'all know how to do cost projections? I sure don't. Well, you've got to figure out a lot of inflation and so on. Yep. Basically, no. This land don't got infinite worth. So, apparently, I think I misunderstood how much the land was worth. That's how much they spent on the apples. They spent a quarter billion on apples? Yeah, I mean, AJ's family is just nuts about apples, although I guess that was maybe how much they thought it would be worth in the future. I don't know, Brayburn tried to explain, but it was just apple-based insanity. <laughs> okay. Do not As is anyone most I of the family. To sell the land. The land is sacred. Okay. They cannot have the land if they are not going to pay us somehow. Tell them they cannot have the land. So they say you guys can't have the land unless you pay for it, so here's the deal. They said if you're not willing to negotiate, then you have to pay them a quarter billion bits to use some of the land. What? That is outrageous. It is our sacred land. Tell them they can lick my butthole. So they said you could have the land if you lick the chief's butt. Would that really make this go away? <laughs> it's not. Good He's lord, what do these bodies think of us? Well, why did he offer it if it wasn't a serious negotiation? I cannot believe he thought that was an offer. What kind of depraved society do you come from? I was trying to indicate that his proposal of us paying him is unacceptable. And here I thought a lot of different days going by, uh, going by. Well, with how about going back this? and forth? We'll give them a yield of our crops every year, and we'll lay down a trail for them to use that goes around the orchard. The land is sacred and worth a quarter billion bits. I am not going <laughs> I to. I love how this is the wrong kind of Indian, by the way. <laughs> for this outrage, I think they need to be buffalo in the first place. Have I just realized. Marry my daughter. That might solve it. <laughs> I don't want to get married. Too bad. This is for politics. Oh, gee, I don't, I don't know about marriage. You know, I, I've been thinking and maybe, you know, I might be more happy as a bachelor. He dare snub my daughter's hoof in marriage? I will see to it that he is boiled alive. We will strip the skin from his very flesh and wear it as a symbol of our rightful heritage over the region. It is okay. I am not mad. He was kind of a girly horse anyway, and I'm not into that. He has hurt your self-esteem. He will be killed. Now wait, why am I the target of aggression? You tell him that if he's gonna wear my skin, I'll have his ass on a plate. Again with this, I have had enough. It is time for war. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, so something went wrong. I think I need you to think. Oh. Okay, that was the end of that. I thought there was gonna be the battle. But, uh, alright. Yeah, I thought that was leading somewhere, but like, it just kind of cut off before it was ready. I got a custom, uh, turntable pad. Just thought I'd show that, I don't know why. Buffalo in this episode also bring the touch of the race, which I pointed out again. Uh, I came to the I had the buffalo speak in, in the accent. She that's in the idea. I had actually considered going further with a joke and having blah blah blah. I'm guessing this is actually going to be talking about like the, uh, the fact that they went with a different kind of Indian accent. Which honestly just makes the joke better. <laughs> Well, there we go. I can stop recording now. All right. Um. Yeah, that was a pretty fun one. Uh. I just wish that we were actually gonna go a little bit further into that. I thought we were gonna have a the whole battle sequence, but uh, we just kind of stopped before all that. But um. I guess it's fine where it left off. Um. Yeah, not really too much to say. I'm probably probably gonna be going back to watch all these again. Uh, just so I can kind of catch myself back up on like what's all. Uh, all the setup and stuff, um, but I, th I'm, I don't think there's like a uh, overarching story or anything. I think it's just uh, like this, um, like episode, uh, episodal, episodic, episodic, right? Um, oh well, 
Uh, that's pretty much all I got to say. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. God bless you, safe and safe on this day. And as always, goodbye.